Good morning guys! Uh, in this video today I want to talk a little bit about money and not just about money in general but about money that I have to sp spend on my food. Lots of you guys you know ask me how much did this cost, that cost you know rent, food, clothing, uh, bus tickets or whatever you know so I think food is definitely an interesting part right so because you do, eat, you do need to eat food right so uh, that means now I'm going to have breakfast, lunch and dinner outside of course in a restaurant and then yeah then we'll see what, what I pay actually per day you know if I eat out three times a day which I rarely do but you know I eat out at least once a day anyway so let's check it out how much it costs to eat here you know there's so much variety of foods Malaysia being like the the, the food capital of the world at least in my opinion and yeah Shall we see? Let's go. So one of my favorite breakfast of all breakfasts in the world is the roti chanai breakfast. You know, it's like an Indian flatbread that brought by the Indians, you know, like a long, long time ago. And it's become a Malaysian thing, you know. Also, it's a little bit different than the, the paratha, you know. In. So this is what I mostly eat in the morning, you know. Two roti chanai with, you know, with dal or a gravy, a curry gravy, see? So you just take a little bit, dip it in the dal, and mm, put it where it belongs. Mm, mm, mm. And this I usually take with a tetarik, which is a, a very sweet, uh, you know, milk tea. Ah, oh, it's divine, simply divine. Actually, it's most of the best breakfast I can yeah, imagine at all. Hello. <laughs> That's where it's made. So, that was another divine breakfast, you know, with Road to Chennai. You're hardly ever disappointed, you know. You know what you're gonna get. I mean, it's simple food, but it's filling and it's very tasty. Yeah, and you can get it, you know. You can get roti chana, you like everywhere, you know. Not everywhere, but you know, mainly uh, not not so much in the Chinese, purely Chinese areas, uh, but like you know, Malay areas, Indian areas. Oh, you know, yeah, it's not a problem of finding it, and it's very very cheap. So this for this meal, two roti chana and one tetarik. One, uh, you know, black tea with with, with sh milk and sugar. Uh, I paid three ringgit and twenty cents. So that's not so bad. I was thinking and walking around a little bit, but not that hungry. So I decided to just go for a wonton mee, which is not, you know, like that big, but it's still like, you know, it's still a portion, and it's not rice. I'll probably have rice for, you know, dinner. So I don't want to, you know, don't show you like two times rice or three times rice ah, two times would have been anyway so I'll try this Mong Tong Mi I've never been to this place here it's a, it's a little place that is not so busy right now because it's more like a, I think in the, in the morning anyway so let's try try that Mong Tong Mi and try the broth Ooh, no it's fine it's not I mean it's not like a most overwhelming yet but it's pretty good the guy gave me a little bit of chili yeah there's no chili sauce but yeah this I think this is with, with soy sauce let's just put them all over it and maybe it has you know maybe now the sauce has a little bit more flavor not that it didn't have any flavor actually it doesn't make a big difference <laughs> yeah it's good he didn't give it to me right away, probably because he thought, because I'm a matzale, I cannot eat chilies. Maybe he thought that. Mother, I can eat a lot more chilies than him. Try some of the noodles. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Very good. So we'll try some of the wonton. That's, a, that's an okay portion. Mmm. Top pork, of course. No Muslim food. Much better with the chili, but not the, not the spicy kind.
Wonton mm -hmm. mee is really great food. And uh, from that mm -hmm. So, so the last wonton. Mm. Yeah, that was a good meal. Still is, no, 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 it's, that's it. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's like for four fifty, so that's roughly like one US dollar. Yeah, so that's the stand in here. Here they also have an economy rice. I've eaten here before. It was, it was actually pretty, pretty tasty, pretty authentic food, and yeah, that was good. Uh, I can recommend this as well. And yeah, it's four fifty. So yeah, that's like one one dollar US. Uh, you can have for four and for five and for four fifty. I don't know if they're just, just, just if it's just a size, but yeah. Anyway, so it was a good lunch. Uh, let's see if I if it'll take me to to dinner. Uh, I'm actually yeah, I'm pretty stuffed. Although you think the bowl is is, is small, but it's not. It's just lots of noodles in it actually. And you're on this the protein part of the of the pork, but it's good. Yeah, this guy, it's not so bad. But do take the chilies, then it's really good. So guys, now it's 6.30. I'm hungry, actually I've been hungry for a while already. Uh, it's not that much, yeah, that noodle, that one tom me, it's not that much, but it's okay. I'm a bit of a, of an eater. Anyway, so, dinner. And yeah, let's splurge a little bit. Let's go to my favorite place, uh, Tajuddin Hussein here in Georgetown. And have some rice, have some Nasi Kandahar. Uh, yeah, let's go check that out. Right. Oh, I got in here. So I got my rice, and I got my fish curry, and I got some tomato curry. I actually ordered some more veggies, but you know, sometimes they don't bring it to you. Anyway, so ah, uh, I've been waiting for this. I actually might even order some more because it was a bit, you know, it was not a lot of food today so far. But yeah, let's dig into that. My fish curry. Ah. 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 Mmm. I told you to no scene. I made a little video before. It's just the best in town. Ah. Fish bone. You gotta be careful. It's very delicious, awesome. but dangerous. Mm. Okay, let me eat. See you later. Right, and I got one of these. You know, like my little dessert. This thing is made out of semolina and, you know, whatever. Some Indian sweet, which is quite a thing, actually. <laughs> Looks smaller from when you order it. Uh, yeah, the one ring. Let's try this thing. Mm, mm. Oh, that's very, very good. Maybe we should sit down. Oh, that's amazing. Mmm. Mm. Um, they're like various taste buds exploding in my mouth. That's really good. But it's filling. I'm. I can tell already. Check it out, the incense, because now it was the, the Nine Emperor Gods Festival for the Chinese. Not sure if, if that's what it's called, but yeah, but it didn't take, didn't really pl take place because of the coronavirus. Anyway, that's not, this video is not about this. Yeah, okay, so uh, now we know how much I spent. So, thinking about it again. You know, like it's, it's always difficult to make a transition from from ring it to let's say U.S. dollars, right? So I've spent for breakfast, lunch, and dinner together about thirteen fifty ring it. So that would be in U.S. dollars. Well, I will do the math and you know write it correctly. It's about three three twenty five, maybe three dollar twenty five. So that's what I spent in a day of eating out. 
Of course, sometimes you know, I eat more expensive things. I'm just, just not, when I have regular meal, the average Joe meal, you know, that's not so bad if I think about it. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. It's just, yeah, it's about as cheap as I thought. But yeah, of course, not always like that. It's not always the same. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, take care and try to eat cheaper than that.